How to dash vault. Originating in France, parkour is a physical sport that requires participants to get from one point to another by clearing obstacles like walls, fences, railings, signs, buildings, and rooftops. There are a multitude of methods for getting through a course, like running, climbing, and swinging, but one of the most common is vaulting, where participants swing or jump over items in their path. Though there are various ways to vault, one of the most complicated is the dash vault. Performing a dash vault. Run towards the obstacle and start your jump. Approach the obstacle perpendicularly and straight on. Make sure you are also maintaining speed so you can clear the obstacle without any issue. The point of a dash vault is to skim over the top of an obstacle, rather than the up and over of other types of vaults. Your speed will depend on the depth or width of the obstacle you are vaulting over. For example, if it's a thin wall, you won't need as much speed. However, if it's a thicker surface, you will need to go faster to clear it. One. Kick your legs forward when jumping over the obstacle. The trick is to bring one leg up first and then follow with the other quickly. This gives the illusion that both legs are coming up together. It's important here to take off with your dominant leg or the one you are more comfortable with. Imagine the way an athlete clears a hurdle, bend your dominant leg in a similar manner, slightly at the knee. Then, when you kick this leg forward, your other leg will naturally follow your momentum and you can bring it forward. Make sure you are leaning back when jumping. Otherwise, your chest will prevent you from bringing your leg up for enough to clear the obstacle. Put your hands behind your back. Wait until your posterior has cleared the obstacle before putting your hands down on the edge of the item you're vaulting. If you started your jump feet first like you were supposed to, your arms will be behind you anyways. Push yourself off and keep running. Make this a near seamless movement. You want your body to continue past the obstacle without losing speed. This way, when you touch back down, you can keep running without stopping or slowing down. Actively push the obstacle away from you, so your arms are stretched out behind you and the rest of your body is pushed forward. Then land one foot first, before the other, so you can go right back into a run. Practice over and over. Don't feel discouraged if you can't perfect a dash vault immediately. It's one of the most difficult vaults in parkour and should be taken slowly. However, after you've done it repeatedly, it will become second nature.